Thanks for joining us on our journey today. In this video, we stop at a cool Harvest Host location in Springdale, Arkansas. All right, so this morning we wanted to share with you where we spent the night last night. Um, we are using a Harvest Host. This is Saddle Bach Brewing. Um, it's near Fayetteville, Arkansas. We'll put the um, coordinates in the description below, of course. Um, really nice place. So that barn up there is actually the brewery. Um, we spent the evening there with some really nice folks at the bar. Um, had some really good beer. Nice um, camaraderie with some of the locals. I mean, we can't say enough about how friendly they were. So as a harvest host, if you guys are ever in this area, you definitely um, should stop here. It's a great little stop. Um, it's on some old country, off of some old country farm road, of course. Kind of in the middle of nowhere. But what better place to be? We had a super quiet night's sleep. We had some onion rings in this place that were like fabulous. So if you're ever here, you've really got to try their onion rings. And of course the beer was pretty darn good. So if you go through these gates right here, it actually says, welcome Harvest Host and Airbnb. And Chris is gonna show you um, the location for their Airbnb. It's like a little cabin sort of thing down here off the lake. And Chris is gonna share that part with you. There's the sign, and they have all this space for parking for Harvest Host. They can probably fit at least 10 rigs back there. They say four, but the gentleman who answered the phone when we called, he said, oh, I have plenty of room, don't worry about it. But we are the only ones here tonight, or last night. There's a volleyball net out here. I imagine in the summertime, they actually might have some volleyball games going on. Last night they had karaoke. Um, we didn't stay long enough for that. It started at 7. And those of you who know us know we're usually always in bed by 9. So we kind of wandered back home about 7. And we did have dinner there. We ate cheeseburgers and french fries. Totally off our diet. But it was kind of good. So as I said... There's a, real, a whole lot of room here for some RVs. All of this space here can be used. And as he said, we never, we always have plenty of room for everybody. It's pretty cool. Then there's a story of a goat down here. Last night when Chris and I were walking down to check out the lake, there was this black goat hanging out. He's pretty good sized. And uh, when we told the bartender, she said, oh yeah, that goat's been here for years. He's a leftover that they couldn't catch when they stopped farming this land. And he has just hung out. And they said sometimes when they play live music down at the other end near the bar, near the, near the brewery, he goes down and lays down and listens to the music. <laughs> this is kind of cool. And I do see him way over there in the field. I don't know if you can see him. He's kind of ducking his head down now. He thinks we don't see him. But he can go wherever he wants. But I guess he just stays there because the gate's open. Why would he leave? It looks like he's got plenty of food out there. Oh, and by the way, the uh, bartender told us that we're welcome to stay a couple nights if we wanted to. We're going to move on though today because um, we want to kind of explore a different part of Arkansas. But if this was a place that you wanted to stay maybe a couple days, I guess they're pretty welcoming to that. I can't find the goat now. He seems to have disappeared. It's Chris back from his exploration of the cabin and the lake down there. He was trying to get a picture of the gator. We saw a gator last night, or at least we think we saw a gator. And the guys in the bar kind of laughed at us because they said, there aren't any gators in that water. Well, Chris swears it was a gator. I think it was a gator. 
But hey, what do we know? Yeah, this Saddleback uh, Brewery has a very huge spot for uh, RVs. And right behind me here, it's a pretty big field. It'll hold uh, quite a few. It says four on the website for Harvest Host, but um, when I called the um, contact person, I think his name was Steve, he said, oh yeah, just come on. We got plenty of room here. Right? Because I wanted to make reservations, but he said, "Yeah, just come on. We got plenty of room for as many as RVs as we can fit in there, probably." So anyway, we had a very quiet night here, and uh, would definitely highly recommend this place. I'm going to walk down here to the little lake. It's called Beaver Lake. We saw a alligator down there last night, so I'm going to see if uh, I can't uh, get some pictures of him if he's still out. So this is a little lake, walk down to, I think they said it's called Beaver Lake. And uh, it's right down at the end of the road. They do have an Airbnb um, house down here as well. But uh, nice little lake. Okay, so this morning we wanted to share um, where we spent the night last night. We had a great evening. Um, we actually came to this brewery. It's um, Saddle Back Brewing um, here in. Um, shoot, sorry. Fire!